What's up guys, welcome back to another Miner Saving tutorial. Today I thought it would have been pretty neat to teach you my good friend Detective's uh, way of using resetters. Uh, this takes about a second to an, uh, a second and a half um, for the entire line. So uh, I think it's really good if you're trying to get really fast like scent setups at like 100k or honestly really anything. Um, so yeah, we are going to we're going to teach you how to do that, and let's get into it. First off, you have to have your, um, you have to have your hydraulic, uh, platform all the way at the top, in the corner of your base, with a green teleporter, or any color teleporter that you, uh, decide to use in the very, uh, middle on the edge. Now then you're going to take a railgun cannon and a anti-gravity scanner. You're gonna raise this up by just one, align it right, and it should look just like this. Then you could take a another of these, place it just right here, and then you're gonna place a final upgrader right here, and then you're gonna do that. Once um, you have this, we are going to work on it, how to put the, uh, the replicators, so let's get into that. I'm just going to have these uh, laid out here, so then I could just build off these, and then drag and drop pretty much. The next one will consist of your Tesla Refuter, a replicator, and a teleporter. Then you can just bring this up to there, just like so, pretty easy. Once you have this, we're going to begin working on the next platform. Now this one's a little bit more simple, we're just going to put an ion field for the extra upgrade. It's really unnecessary, but it works. Then we are going to place the, uh, the replicator right here with a teleporter right here. Then you could just bring this up here. Actually, uh, thankfully, I have it on the side. All you gotta do is put it right there. Now things might get a little bit more confusing, by the way, because you do have to um, align them right. You don't just keep bringing them down by one. Uh, they kind of just go drastically uh, near the end. You only need uh, one more of these, by the way. Now we're going to put this one next, actually. We're gonna just going to put that right there. All you need on it is a black void. You do not need a void. Make sure it's aligned correctly. Then we are going to take this. Should actually probably put everything on it first. We're going to take another ion field. Another replicator. Like so. And, uh, oh, actually. You want to make sure it hits. Then. Everything should align just like this. Then we could get, um, we could get any ore, really. Uh, let's get Draconic. I'm pretty sure he used Garg, but I'm not too sure. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use Draconic. And then just straight up the teleporter. So we're going to see how he does it with guard. Alright, so apparently he doesn't use uh, guard, he uses this. You can actually use behemoth and it makes things easier apparently. So um, what I would recommend doing is straight up, uh, well in order to get it working, 
Um, like I said, you have to put it at the max height, like this. Uh, you want to raise all of these until you get to the standard one down. So all of these were up one, you just lower them one. Now in the end, it should all turn out to look something like this, and it should function like this. Pretty, pretty neat, I'd say. Um, it works super well. Also, I kind of now realize that I am using the wrong teleporter uh, senders. They go back in. Works pretty well, I'd say. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'm probably gonna stream in a little bit, so you guys could uh, be there for that if you'd like. And um, yeah, peace out.